ました。Piece of my being. It's my very heavy side. Is it should be over here? So I'm gonna. I forgot one thing. Tan, okay. I just saw my arm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm moving you around. So I'm in. So then we can go. I have to plug my phone in in case I'm not going to call. You probably heard that. I could call Martian. I'm gonna call Martian to see. I think. Actually, I'm just gonna have it plugged in. Okay. She's probably teaching, I thought it was in the family room. She's probably on Do Not Disturb, because it rang when someone had said, Oh, this is Marcia Christian, I'm going to be in the room in a moment. I'm just going to leave a message, I'll be back to you as soon as I have it all set up. Thank you. Okay. I know that whole bunch of you now. Ooh, this is cold. My violin is very cold. Jeez. That's it cold here. Tell her. 
Right when I was holding it, I'm like, the hell did it go? Oh, that poor piece of egg. <laughs> See, and I have that very good lighting on this piece because, you know, I kind of like to do that. So, it's very itchy. I don't like it. But I'm going to do it because. I think this <coughs> is a different version from what she had. Does my mom have Scanner Pro? Oh. look like a piece of my oh. Okay, I'm gonna see if she has scanner pro. I'm just gonna lock it up. Gosh. She does it. So let's see. So shaky. Mm. I don't want it live. But see, this thing makes it go like that. So I'm gonna have to delete it. That's a good painting. Okay, sorry. <laughs> she made it. We know she did. Mm, I keep moving. See, I keep moving and it's always so annoying. <sighs> Delete. I'm sorry, I'm taking too much time. Oh my god. That's good enough. <laughs> it also makes it look bad because the screen is really dirty. Jeez. I had a bloody nose this morning, that's probably it. What the heck? This thing is trying to do it for me. Like whenever I move up, it moves like that. And whenever I go down, it goes like all the way down. It's annoying. See? It moves to the freaking side every time. Gosh. 
much. Oh my god. And then we'll be right back. Yes, I need it. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, sorry that took a lot of time. I didn't want it to, but it did, so I'm freezing cold, but it's okay. I'm going to practice right now. If I practice here in the sun, that would be great, but I can't. <laughs> So G is fifty A D is eighty A is one oh eight and E is one forty four and F is ninety two, I think. Yeah, I remember I did uh, no, not that. I think I did it on different notes, though. Okay. That was not the thing I got. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I keep sneezing. So sad. Okay, here's all my music. And today is Saturday. And I'm going to do two things to start with this. And I'm going to do one thing to start with. And one. Yeah, I have two things. Number one, organized. I'm done with that. Number two, you'll see. I'm thinking you know, on top of my bed, baby. 
to make the double stops easier. Is that right? Yeah. So, um, what, are you, what are you working on when you do that? Can you show me? It, nothing, it's just you're speaking so quiet. I can't, really can't hear a word you're saying. Can you say it nice and loud and clear like you know what you're talking about? Yes. Okay, thank you. I just can but... Um, well, then you should have come here with a sweater on. Well, not in my sweater, take it from my legs. Well, that's not true. You have long sleeve shirts. So, does that mean you can't speak and enunciate? I okay, tell Jeez. me. Well? I said I have to cross lower in the bow because I can't cross in the middle of the bow. Okay, show me what that means. So it means that if I'm playing a chord like this, instead of crossing there, or instead of crossing here, I have to cross here. So I have room for the next note. Okay, and why is that hard to do? Seems pretty easy to me because when you're playing it, it sounds like you're struggling with it, like it's so hard. And I'm just curious, what is so hard? Are you trying hard to get your fingers in the right place or what to make sure it's in tune? Why does it sound like it's such a struggle? I mean, for gosh sakes, you played that piece three years ago. It, it's supposed to be an easy exercise to get you in the mood for hard double stops, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, but you're making it sound like it's so hard to play, and I'm curious why. It, it's not. Oh, okay. Let me see you do the exercise then. Go through the page and show me. Uh, show me how you do it. to say as a complete outsider who's not involved in this exercise at all okay just to give you some feedback okay number one I never saw you lift up your fingers and put them back again and from here they look extremely stiff and tight and one thing to remember about any double stop or anything that you're playing is that even though it doesn't seem like they're connected, if your left hand's tight, it's not going to sound beautiful, no matter what you do with your right hand, no matter what. The second thing I noticed, now the thing with double stops is a lot of times people don't want to move their fingers. Why? That's right. So once you find your spot, you want to stick to it. And that's what makes people tense. So the trick to double stops is to actually learn how to do them with a relaxed hand as much as you can. And that means that you, you find ways to help those fingers to stay in tune by not doing it for too long at a time, by 
making sure that your elbows in and that you're doing as much as you can because when you're actually playing a piece you're going to have to move your fingers right and being stiff and having them in tune the first time is not really teaching your fingers to find them it's teaching your fingers that once you find them become stiff so you got to decide on violin, what are you teaching those stupid little sausages? Are you teaching them that they find something and then stay as stiff as possible? Or are you teaching them that they find, relax, find, relax, find, relax? Imagine if you were sitting on a horse and you were stiff. Do you think the horse would want to move? No. The other Gosh. thing I noticed, I know that fly came in here. The other thing I noticed is that on a, every single double stop, your bow was really, really crooked. And if I was going to play a double stop, I would want my bow touching as much of my string as possible to be as flat as a pancake. So whether... Those are double stops, though. I mean, I kind of have to... Put my hand like I don't want to have all that information. I want to tell you that you can play double stops with a straight bow. And I'd like you to practice making your double stops with a straight bow. So I'd like you to take 10 minutes out of your practice and either do Marsha's exercise or make up your own. But go to the mirror in your room and figure out how to support your left hand and keep it relaxed on double stops. Make up some tricky ones and watch your bow and see if it's just moving your violin or what you need to do to keep it straight. And I'd like you to make a 10 minute extra practice for that. And you could do it now. You can do it at the end of your practice or you can set a timer for an hour and do it then. Okay, but it's just something I'd like you to do. You can use it to do marches or you can do your own. Okay, and then I want you to come back with all that good information and tell me what you learned. You might also want to turn it off for three minutes and come back with a fly swatter and try to kill that fly so you can have a good practice or you have my permission to take it to your room Gosh. and do it there. Okay, so if you think you can't find it and kill it, you can take it to your room. Why don't we try to Kill it first. Set your violin down over here and go get the fly swatter. And I see it right now. Don't walk next to it and maybe we'll be able to kill it and you can have a better practice without a stupid fly. Yeah, stay there, you dumb fly. Did you find it? <laughs> okay, it's right here in the square, so slow down. Do you see it? Good. Oh, good shot. So you can do that 10-minute deal whenever you want. Maybe you should do it later and move on. Okay? There's a trash right there. I guess it's full. Nobody ever empties it. I emptied it like two days ago. Well, there's more than two days worth of stuff here, so I think it's probably longer.
This tape really, this tape really just hates me.
good time speeding my mouth a little bit. So that was kind of easy for me at that speed. Do you think you could sing that section with the metronome? Um, I tried to just sound it all weird. <laughs> just go da 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 I lose my breath every time because I can't take a breath because there's no spot to take a breath. But, I mean, I can't really sing it that well and I can't really do it because I always lose my breath after two or three measures. Okay. But I know the speed that I'm going and it's pretty easy for me. How about doing it without the bow and just your fingers? Have you ever tried that? Yes. There's a fly in here again. Oh my god! Where are they coming from? I don't know. there's a fly on your freaking finger. But I don't think there's any reason to whine all morning long. I've listened to you whine at me for the last two or three times I've said anything to you. If there's a fly, set your violin down, get the fly swatter, and get rid of it. Do something about it instead of whining. I mean it. It only takes a minute. You've got nothing else to do all day long. You didn't start practicing until 10 o'clock. I think, you know, I think it's really rude. Well, see if you can find it and let's kill it. Let's set it down and let's find a place. See if we can kill it. I'm just doing it with the fingers.
I'm just gonna play the whole page. So A will be equals one, two, six rest, seven pick up, B is seven pick up, up to I feel like I wrote these in wrong. Seven pick up and then dash, which is meaning two. Sixteen. Fourteen rest. Fifteen C is fifteen pick up. Uh, I'm going to do pick and then arrow for pick up. Two. Then uh, 22, 21 rest. D is 20. 22 pick up. Two. Let's do twenty two two. Let's do before it gets hard. So it's gonna be from there to twenty four rest. Then twenty five pick up. D I mean E is twenty five pick up. Pick up to twenty eight rest. Yeah, twenty eight rest. F is twenty nine. Pick up to yeah. Making sections. One, two, nine, pick up to end of page. <laughs> um. 
I mean, I can't really do it. 31, 32 rest. I'm writing stuff on my list. Because I'm not with the Star, don't do pick up on click. Don't. Is it? It's 10.31. How is it 11.36 on my thing? I have no idea. I'm going to stop at 10.55.
was a beast. I was doing the sections and blah blah blah. Just <laughs> That big fat mess we put the piano. I need to work on scales. There's Paige Rigadon. Big scales 47 to 48. Where's 47? I'm just gonna do all the scales. Starts at forty seven.
now we're switching it up. So now it's going to be regular. We'll go get a piece of tape. Okay, it's ten forty-four. <sighs> I'm gonna do my box. Tomorrow is Sunday. Then I go to school. I didn't write anything. 
the ball yesterday. So, yeah. Okay, that's not what I needed. Okay, well, I know what I'm going to do anyways. <clears throat> Harry shifts. I did Harry shifts. And I started at, I'm going to start about at R. Let's measure six. Well, actually, I'm going to do 66. Measure 66. If you don't know where that is, the first line of the second page of the third movement of Bach, A minor. <laughs> the first line of the second page is 45, then it's 50, then the next line, then the next line is 53. So that so the first line is 45, second line is 50, third line is 53, fourth line is 57, and the fifth line is 63, and then if I can move on, and if you want me to go on, the sixth line is 69, seventh line is 73, Eighth line is 77, ninth line is 81, tenth line is 84, second to last line is 87, and the last line is 90. Oh, I didn't know that would work. My knuckles. Knuckle. And I'm going to do 10 minutes of box. Before I do that, I'm going to go do my double stops in the mirror for 10 minutes. Before I do that, since I'm cold, my hairs are sticking up so I can, like, since it's a staticky, I can feel my hair from, like, not even touching it. So, I can use that in my hairy shifts later. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you for watching so much. And I'm going to...